today is the 6th of august 2024 and whatsapp groups in many townships communities across south africa are going wild and the agenda is zimbabweans marching in pretoria today and people are calling me lux what do we do can we just put aside differences and these people are mad they can't be marching here what do you think let me tell you what i think and these are my thoughts i don't care who buys it who doesn't buy it it's not for sale it's just my opinion and it's just my if i'm leading in my own spaces this is my leadership okay yeah i'm not imposing it on you or anyone i am happy to be honest with you that zimbabweans are marching in south africa because if you look at what they are marching for they are marching against the hike of their passport price so they are saying passport can't be this expensive meaning a document that makes them legal and that aids and supports our agenda as South Africans that's been saying for many years, no man, let's all be documented and legal. The process of documentation is now expensive and they are taking the price higher. <clears throat> we all know it's easy to cross the river into South Africa or from South Africa to Zimbabwe. But those that still respect the law are saying that can it be affordable? for us to have these passports so that we can use the passports so that we can be documented so that we can be in line with the laws of the country both South Africa and Zimbabwe and when they are striking and protesting for such to be affordable because we live and share the same economy local economy township economy and sometimes provincially and nationally we are in the same country called South Africa we experience the same economic hardships so when they say that it's expensive we need to be supporting them because they are now speaking the language of documentation so people don't know the difference i was speaking to a leader in in, in Tswane, Tsepo, Masao. we're saying people don't understand the difference between um being radical and being an anarchist guys don't do politics of 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 anarchy and think that you can seek relevance through anarchy you can be radical that's okay but let your radical politics or leadership be be guided by some form of intelligence let it be guided by some form of wisdom so that when you lead people they can be led by intelligence and wisdom etc in a nutshell I support this much of um, the Zimbabwean people and if I could I'd be there with them and I say to them Aluta continue let the struggle continue of of us all being documented and respecting the laws of both South Africa and Zimbabwe and seeing how we can move forward as two countries I say march march to your embassies march to the relevant officials march march and express yourself and make sure that they hear you and if you need South Africans to support you I'm the first my hand is up I am saying march March and make sure that 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 the future of both these countries is more stable because we are now working together. There's no divisions. I'm saying in Tantalax, March. I support you and those with enough sense will support you. March. March for those documents that make you legal travelers and and, and make you responsible Africans. If they are made if they're put out of reach economically, financially, it puts us in a position where we must fight each other and cross rivers and march, march, we'll support you. When when the going gets tough, I'm in somewhere to come and find me. Just reach out, I'll come and support the marches. Morning. Zimbabweans have got themselves to blame. They can go anywhere and say what they want to say. They are part of us, they are part of Africa. But the problem of Zimbabwe can only be solved by the people of Zimbabwe we can only give them support and solidarity support but the zimbabwean youth must stand up this thing of just being scared of old men who can't even walk <laughs> and you are scared of them instead of engaging in a rebellion against those people the civil right movement is being suppressed in zimbabwe but equally the votes are being stolen daylight Chamisa has won elections there many times. Anyone you can go to them there, they tell you, this guy has won. But who runs the elections? The army. They go into the villages 
in the voting stations in the villages they do as they wish and no one is being held accountable we don't agree with the sanctions against zimbabwe because sanctions only serve to make the poor of the poorest suffer when you sanction the political elite has got access to resources it can always import anything they want to import and they will continue with their lives but the poor of the poorest are going to die that's why we call for the lifting of sanctions in zimbabwe but the youth of zimbabwe must stand up there is no malema who's going to come from here and go and liberate harare harare has to stand up for malema to go there and say i'm now putting my body on the picket lines in support of the people of zimbabwe the zimbabwean youth must rise because that nonsense will never come to an end as long as there is no unity of purpose against the tyranny against the suppression of political wishes of zimbabweans so ourselves at pan-african parliament at the au at sadek we have to have a political will to speak for the people of zimbabwe when it comes from us it will have more weight than when it comes from europe why because we're brothers and sisters they will know it's a friendly fire but sadek au south africa they are failing zimbabweans because it's a bruce cup it's friendship it's brother 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 leader brother brother when they meet brother 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 <laughs> And then when you ask what is the resolution no one has taken any resolution <laughs> so you need a clear position from sadek which gives the timelines that by this time this should have happened but otherwise Mnangangwa is going to come back and he's got nothing to offer at all so chiwenga is done he will not be anything they used him Chiwenga is no longer the most powerful military man in Zimbabwe now. They have weakened him. So, only the power of the youth of Zimbabwe can change the political status quo. And the Zimbabweans have to know that we are with them. Including Zimbabweans who are here in South Africa. When there are elections, get into buses and go home. <laughs> go and fight from there. Because the humiliation that you are being subjected to here in South Africa is if you don't have your own homes. It's high time that you take it upon yourself and organize yourselves. EFF is there. We can even sponsor buses. <laughs> Ora, go and vote. If you are here to study, you can come back, study, no problem, but go and vote. <laughs> so that we know that at least you are also doing something. The humiliation and the violation that Zimbabweans are being subjected to. Highly educated individuals and human beings. It's not what a human being must be subjected to. But it starts with you as Zimbabweans to fight for the freedom and the self-determination of the people of Zimbabwe.